Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning and I thought I'd start a, not a weekly vlog, but like a, just a new, a new chilled vlog. Um, it is a grey and miserable Monday morning. I was planning on filming some reels today and hopefully I was planning on going out, like mum and I were going to kind of do a little bit of a drive around and find somewhere a little bit different to film some reels outside but the weather had different ideas. So I think that's going to be done tomorrow anyway, but I've got some bits here that I was going to unbox and show you for a um, for some Instagram content that I'm shooting. So I'll show you those bits in a minute. Um, but I thought I'd have a little catch up first. I feel like I haven't, like I said, I haven't properly vlogged since before Christmas. I feel like I haven't properly chatted to you guys since before. So I've made myself a little cup of um, lemon. I think it's called, it's a tea pig happy tea bag. It's called happy. And it's like a feel good, feel good teas. And I think it's got lemon balm in it. Anyway, I got these just before Christmas and they smell so nice. They almost smell like a little bit Christmassy, a little bit like a mince pie, but like with a lemony scent to it, which doesn't sound very nice. But I just made one for my mum and she was like, oh, that's the nicest herbal tea I've had in a long time. They're really lovely, really nice. Sorry if you can hear the um, washing machine in the background, by the way, you probably can't, but I can and it's like distracting. Um, but yeah. I hope you all had, I know I said this in my last video, but I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year and a nice chilled break and you managed to see family and friends. Um, again, I mentioned this in my last vlog, but we had a lovely Christmas, managed to see my family and Lou's family, and then I got COVID after between Christmas and New Year. Lou somehow didn't get it or did loads of tests and didn't test positive for us. I don't know. I don't know really what happened there. Um, but yeah, I got COVID between Christmas and New Year. I wasn't too poorly. I felt okay. Like I felt achy and like a little bit, you know, run down those sort of symptoms. But I didn't have like, I didn't have a temperature. I didn't really get a cough. Um, I just felt a little bit like bunged up at the back of my throat and anyway, you know, just that kind of run down feeling. So I had that between Christmas and New Year, so we didn't leave the house, we didn't really do a lot, which was quite nice because December had been so busy, I'd been working loads, so it was quite nice to just chill between um, Christmas and New Year and have an excuse to just chill on the sofa, watch movies, watch series, like read and just enjoy a little bit of downtime. So yeah, really lovely little break. And I think at the beginning of January, I still felt a little bit tired. Like that was it, after COVID, I just felt very, very tired and just like a lack of motivation. So I'm just getting back into the swing of things. I do feel more like I kind of am ready to get back on board with work and things like that. But it's just a bit of a gradual process, let's say. Um, but I oh, also, a couple of you noticed in my last video that I am now wearing my engagement ring again. I know quite a few of you had mentioned or, or like I quite often get a lot of messages on Instagram. Why don't you wear your engagement ring? I just had a few problems with the band. So it was too big and first of all, it was too like thick and uncomfortable. So I had to have that changed. And then it was too big, so I had to have it changed again. So there was just a few, a few issues. And so I was kind of waiting to wear it until it fitted properly and it was perfect. So finally it is, I think because of COVID as well, like everything was taking a little bit longer to get it sorted. But anyway, that was why I wasn't wearing it. No, like there was no, the marriage is off or the engagement is off or anything like that. It was more just, just sorting out the band, but it's so nice to be able to have it as well. And it's just so sparkly. Like I keep looking at it and feeling like, yeah, love having it back. Um, and also, I started wearing my Fitbit again. I don't know about anyone else, but I went through a phase of forgetting to wear, forgetting to put it on, forgetting to charge it, like towards the end of last year. And um, now it's January again. I'm like, right, back into fitness, wearing my Fitbit on the ball again. But I have got some bags here from River Island to get into. And I am creating, um, I'm doing a reel for them. Or well, either they said that I can either do a reel or an Instagram post. But if you've been following my Instagram recently, if not, I'll pop it here. But if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have been obsessed with reels recently. I just love creating them. I love like how much you guys seem to enjoy seeing them. And yeah, I've just been really enjoying my reels recently. So I think that I will probably focus on, on doing a reel with River Island. But like I said, mum and I were going to go out today and maybe see if we could film something outside. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look quite 
cleaning up a little bit maybe. If not, it'll probably be tomorrow and I will probably vlog it as well. Um, but River Island had the nicest boots. When I was looking at bits um, to feature, I literally was obsessed with two pairs of boots. I couldn't decide which ones I prefer, so I've ordered them both. You'll have to let me know which ones you prefer. These are just gorgeous. How lovely are they? They're just a really, I think they're showing up quite white on camera, but they're cream and just a really beautiful shape. They are leather. I think they're from their studio collection, actually. But yeah, I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous, like a winter white outfit. Um, really love the style of heel as well. They've got like a croc heel, brown sole, and feel really lovely quality, and just a zip on the inside. I thought those with a white or a cream jumper dress and a long cream coat would be lovely. Um, yeah, I like those a lot. I ordered them in a size five because I thought, I did, I'm, I'm usually a four and a half, so I'll let you know how they fit. That was the first pair of boots. I will show you a few of the pieces that I've kind of picked out to style as outfits and then I'll show you them as an outfit. Well, whenever I put them on, either later on today or tomorrow. And then this was the second pair that I love the look of. And these are like a really beautiful, rich, chocolate brown croc. Let me just take the cardboard out so you can see the shape. I didn't actually realise they dipped down at the front. They dip down ever so slightly, which gives them a kind of slightly western, western style to the top. Um, but yeah, I just thought they were really gorgeous as well. Lovely rich brown, would look really nice with like black jumper dresses and browns and kind of darker tones as well. And then they've got like a slightly pointy toe to them as well. So I thought they were really lovely. I will see how they look on. Right, let's see what I ordered to go with the boots. Honestly, the boots were the first things that I loved. And then I tried to like create the outfits around, because I wanted to put together two different outfits that I thought, so I had options. Um, so I tried to like put the outfit, focus the outfits around the boots. <laughs> Um, but that's the thing sometimes, when you're working with a brand, you have to kind of put together a full outfit and sometimes it's a little bit tricky to like visualise how an outfit, I find it a little bit tricky to visualise how an outfit would look without seeing the fabrics and like the tones of the colours, if it's like a neutral outfit, if the different tones will work together. So you sometimes have to order a couple of different options because something you think will work in your head when you're looking online doesn't necessarily work. And sometimes it takes me hours like looking through different pieces online to try and um, yeah to try and put together just one or two outfits because I'm trying to like really look through and find the right pieces. So obviously I went for a blazer. I thought that this would look gorgeous with the creamier um, boots and it's just a really beautiful simple classic bla beige blazer. Really lovely like single breasted. It's got the gathered sleeves as well which I find sometimes super handy because I know a lot of you ask how I get to how I get my blazer sleeves to stay up whereas this is like gathered so it should stay up already so I ordered that I'm not going to show you everything I'm just going to kind of show a few bits um this jumper I absolutely loved it is gorgeous how lovely is that I feel like it almost looks like it could be that high end it almost looks a little bit like it could be Givenchy I don't know if they've done that on purpose with the, with the prints. Um, but I spotted this on there back in November, I think. Sold out straight away. And then when I was looking through, I saw it come back in stock. So I don't know if this is going to work with any of the outfits, but I just wanted this anyway. I thought that with a black blazer and black leather trousers would be such a gorgeous winter outfit. Love that. I will leave it linked below. I ordered it in a size medium. Um, and I just think it's so nice. I really like that. And even at home with leggings, oh, love it. Really love that. Um, okay, so what else did I go for? So I thought that this jumper dress would look really lovely with the tan boots. So this is a rusty coloured off the shoulder jumper dress. I thought this with the brown boots would be really lovely. And then a long coat over the top. And it's just a lovely, super soft, ribbed, stretchy material. So again, I'll show you how that looks on. Oh, this thought was gorgeous as well really lovely it's a super thick chunky scarf oh that feels really soft as well just a really lovely thick tassely scarf it has got a big 
leather panel which i probably would prefer if it didn't if it was slightly smaller maybe but once it's on you can kind of wear that on the inside if you prefer or you might prefer it on the outside um but yeah i just thought it was really lovely thick snuggly scarf oh and then this is the other jumper dress option that i ordered so it's like in a creamy beige with wide like almost slightly flared sleeves and i thought this again would look lovely with the cream boots and maybe the cream blazer or I also ordered a different blazer option to show you over the top. So I'll put a couple of outfits together later on today or tomorrow and show you how they look. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about some of these looks. I feel like I'm definitely going to have a couple of outfits that work together. Anyway, I'm going to finish my tea even though it's probably gone cold. And I think make some lunch. I say make some lunch. Lou made a soup yeah, a couple of days ago now. I was feeling a little bit, I think I was just feeling a little bit tired and run down and he was like, I'm gonna make you a nice soup to make you feel better. And it was like leek, potato and cabbage, which the cabbage is a little bit, hmm, but healthy and nice. So I think mum and I may have some of that for lunch. Okay, I'm not gonna try everything on now, but I wanted to quickly slip this jumper on and I thought I'd quickly show you how it looks. And I love it. It's slightly longer at the back, got a little slit up the side. And it just feels lovely and snug, but I just love the style of it as well. I love this kind of printed bit. And like I said, I think with a black blazer over the top um, and like jeans or leather leggings and boots, it would look lovely. Really, really lovely. It feels nice and soft. Um, yeah, I think it's cute. And like, I've just got it on now with obviously just like leggings and slippers, but I quite like how it is just to chill in at home as well. Yeah, I like this. I ordered the new foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I've seen lots of people raving about it, so I'm looking forward to trying it. I got it in shade number six, neutral, which looks like it could be a little bit dark, but I will give it a go and see how I get on, and I will report back in my next vlog and let you know what I think of it. This is tonight's dinner that I'm just about to tuck into. I have got a piece of salmon which I cooked with some honey and soy sauce. I've not done it like that before, but I thought I would try something different. And then a little side salad with um, rocket, watercress, tomato and chopped up onion. And I also made some homemade chips in the air fryer. I just sliced up a potato and put a little bit of olive oil in there. And Lou has got the same as me, but with oven cooked chips and with steak instead of salmon. Good morning, it is Wednesday now. And as you can see from the sunlight behind me, it is a beautiful bright sunny morning. And I have made the most of the morning sun. I've just finished filming a reel, I've just filmed the River Island reel. I haven't looked back at any of the footage yet. So I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it looks okay. Cause I filmed it in the bedroom instead, usually. Um, if you follow me, in, me on Instagram, you'll, you will have seen I film all of my reels, usually like in the front room because it's, we've got the big bifold doors and it's really bright out there and yeah, it just works. But I thought I'd try something a little bit different because I wanted to kind of keep changing things up a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> um, so I filmed it in here because it was nice and bright and sunny in here. Although I don't know if it was too, you know sometimes when it's so bright that you get like harsh lines and shadows, like there was too much, like super, anyway. Anyway, I think it looks okay, but I thought I'd show you the outfit I went for. First of all, obviously this gorgeous chunky scarf. Absolutely love this. It's so soft and chunky. It just, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I think I might wear this out today. Um, love the style of this. Underneath I went for, well not underneath, but I also went for this long camel coat. Um, sorry, you can see my tripod in the background there. Um, yeah, so I went for the long camel coat. Obviously, I went for the cream rib jumper dress. I just slipped this on and as soon as I put it on, it just felt so comfortable. It fits really nice, super stretchy, little slit up the side. And of course, I went for the cream knee-high boots and I just love this outfit. I will leave everything linked below, of course. Um, and I will try some of the other pieces on as well to show you those as well, but I just love this outfit. I would wear this out today. Um, by the way, Mum and I are off to Gunwolf Keys today, so we're going for a little bit of a little bit of a mooch around and probably have some lunch somewhere as well. So I might try and vlog some of it. Um, but yeah, I thought I would quickly show you this gorgeous River Island outfit before I get changed. And how delightful is that? Look out for the reel, by the way. It should be up 
uh, within the next week, I'd imagine. So it'll probably be up about the same time as this video goes live. So if you haven't seen it, head over to my Instagram. I'll pop the name up there. And if you were wondering what lipstick I am wearing, it is Bare Minerals Grace. I literally just popped it on, on the reel. Um, so yeah, Bare Minerals Grace, which is a very, um, well, I literally, it's on so you can see, a very, oh, it's got a bit of fluff on it. <laughs> a very peachy pinky nude this is too light for me in the summer i love the color of it when, but whenever i put it on in the summer it always looks a little bit like chalky and a little bit pale but now my skin's a little bit paler in the winter it's a really nice nude it's still quite quite light so bear that in mind like it doesn't look it here it's gorgeous really lovely shade but i'd say it suits slightly lighter skins more um <clears throat> Otherwise it can look a little bit chalkier. But yeah, really pretty. Um, and I also popped on perfume of the day, Victor and Roll Flower Bomb. I have not worn this in ages and it just smells gorgeous. Again, I just sprayed it on for the real. And as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, oh, why don't I wear this more? Lovely, love it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go and grab the other pieces and try them on. I was just changing into the other boots and I was just about to take this dress off and pop the other dress on. And then I realized I haven't actually shown you how the dress looks on its own. So just to quickly show you, um, do you see what I mean about the bright sunlight? This is what I meant when it kind of bleaches things out a little bit. Um, but yeah, just to show you, this is how the dress looks on. Obviously I've got the other boots on with it, um, but it's just a really lovely fit, really kind of like fitted, but not too tight. There's lots of, lo lots of like loose, material and um yeah very soft very comfortable nice long flared sleeves and a high neck as well um yeah gorgeous little dress i think i'm wearing it in a size either a size eight or small but i will pop my sizes next to the links in the description box if you want to know any of the sizes that i'm wearing for comparison and this is how the other dress looks on and this is gorgeous as well i love the like rich browny kind of rust tone of this dress. I think it's really beautiful color, really flattering. It's kind of got a slightly off the shoulder neckline. It sort of dips down off one shoulder and slightly bat wing sleeves as well. So it sits quite slouchy. And then you can kind of gather it up underneath. So you can either pull it slightly longer or gather it and have this bit a little bit more puckered over. So I guess you could adapt that to how tall you are and where you want it to finish on your legs. If I just stand back, you can see I have styled it with the brown boots but it doesn't work with these boots so it's a good job i didn't that's the thing like when i was explaining sometimes you want to put an outfit together and then when it arrives for some reason it doesn't work and this doesn't work because the dress finishes exactly where the boots start so it just sits inside it can you see what i mean and like if i try and pull it over the top it looks really weird where the dress is tight and the boots are quite wide <laughs> do you see what i mean it doesn't work like the lengths don't work together um so that's why it's sometimes like yeah hard to kind of pick an outfit online and then put it together but separately these pieces are gorgeous like the dress really really soft really flattering fit again quite fitted on the back and the bottom um but very stretchy and comfortable at the same time the boots i think i prefer the fit of the cream one just because like i said these are a little bit wider and then they've got like this sorry let me just move forward yeah then they've got this like western style dip down at the front and back so i think i prefer the um cream ones i just think i will get more wear out of those love those and then this is how the blazer looks over the top. And I do think it works as an outfit. I think it works styled over the top, but I think the other outfit worked better. Um, and by the way, excuse, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got very fake tanny wrists. Um, where I've been wearing my Fitbit, it's like, and I've been fake tanning, it left, it left like a little patch of where it like rubbed my fake tan off. So I overcompensated by like fake tanning over it. And that was definitely the wrong thing to do. So now I've just got orange wrists. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think this blazer is really gorgeous. It's quite oversized, so I would say perhaps size down because it's quite wide at the bottom. Um, but maybe that's because I've got it on, a, on with a dress, whereas if I had it on with like a t-shirt and jeans underneath, it might work being that little bit more, that little bit more oversized. I just thought I'd quickly show you how the blazer looks just with a black roll neck and black leather trousers so you can see kind of how it fits a little bit better. I did check and I ordered it in a size 10, so that's why it's a little bit more boxy on me. I think it's probably slightly oversized anyway. And obviously I've sized up. So I would just say go for your regular size. I think a size eight would fit me slightly better. 
Um, but I think it's a good blazer for kind of transitioning into spring summer because it is quite lightweight. We are just heading over to Gunwharf now. We're gonna have a little mooch around some shops. You want to get, what did, what did you say you want to get? Trainers? Trainers. Nike trainers. Handbag. Handbag. Leather jacket. Leather jacket. <laughs> my list is <laughs> long as my arm. Um, yeah, although I did say about, I don't know if they'll have any decent leather jackets in All Saints, but they had a really good sale last time Lou and I went. Um, but yeah, just gonna have a little mooch around some shops and go for some lunch and hopefully maybe get a few like, see what I mean? It's so, so bright, so sunny. Um, and maybe get a couple of pictures while I'm over there as well. So that is the plan. Um, and we are just coming into Gunwharf now. We are just in the white company, of course. First stop, the white company. Uh, Mum's got a beautiful leather jacket, which is a juice, what was it, 350 to 210? Yeah. 350 to 210 and it feels really lovely and soft don't forget we are going to all saints as well though so and i spotted these beautiful leather loafers which are reduced from 89 to 53 pounds 40. really lovely classic shape just with a little gold bar well gold and leather bar across the middle um yeah they're really nice They've also got lots of gorgeous cashmere loungewear with 50% off a lot of the pieces. Um, so this knitted jumper is reduced from 179 to 89 pounds 50. They've got the matching trousers as well. And then they've also got like grey, light grey, pale blue. And then mum also spotted these gorgeous boots which are reduced from 145 to 87 pounds. Sorted? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd totally love them back, especially today. Um, we have just popped into All Saints um, to have a little look around. Mum wanted to see if she could find a leather jacket, but they're all a little bit, they're all a little bit bikerish, yeah. weren't they? They were a bit too, too zips, like there weren't any very sort of simple classic styles. They're all quite chunky, or they had like buckles, or anyway, I spotted this jumper in the men's section that I thought was quite cool. Just simple black jumper with like the white rope detail on which I thought was quite nice. I've just popped this on um, with my outfit and I've got a coat that I'm going to try on as well. Mum and I have just walked down to the water, to the harbour, um, because I wanted to quickly get an outfit picture from the outfit I'm wearing today. But it's such a quiet, like, still day. It's so beautiful down here. The sun is shining. You can see Spinnaker Tower and then obviously you've got all the restaurants behind you and bars. But usually, like if you come on a weekend, it's probably, especially on a nice day, it'd be super hustle and bustly. But today, it's super quiet. Really nice. Look at that weather. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just what you need, Dave. Just what you need. We have just decided to come upstairs for some food. We've been shopping all afternoon. We've just we've only, we've only mooched around, we've only mooched in and out of a few shops, yeah. haven't we? But it feels like it's been ages now. Not carrying many bags, and are we? <laughs> no, we haven't bought anything yet. Although I have put some bits by in the white company oh, to yes. go back and get. Yes, you have. Um, but I didn't want to carry them around with me. But mum was looking for a bag and you didn't manage to find anything, did no. you? And yeah, the jacket, um, didn't yeah. really find any that weren't covered in Weren't what you were looking for. Uh, but we have just come upstairs to get some food and look at the lovely view from up here. Like the sun is obviously just setting and it looks so pretty. There's Spinnaker Tower and then the beautiful little sunset. And I was just saying to Mum, over there almost looks like it's like a little, like it looks like we could be abroad. If you look, let me just try and zoom in. That little bit over there, it's got like little restaurants and pubs over there, which I've never I've never even been around there before, so. Do you, have to, do you reckon it's over the water? Do you reckon no, you have no, to go? you can walk round. Can you? I would say so. But we've decided we're gonna pop into Faux, haven't we? Yes. Oh yeah. Just come into Bow 
and we are having a fresh mint tea and it's so tasty. It's really nice, isn't it? And mum was just saying, you never think of doing a fresh mint tea at home, like don't think of just getting mint out of the garden and having one, but it's really nice. Good afternoon, it is Thursday afternoon. Mum and I have spent the morning filming reels today because it was a beautiful sunny day so we've made the most of it. I think I filmed six or maybe even seven. There's a good like good amount to have in the bank so I'll kind of edit them over the next week or so and then upload one every other day or something like that. I try and kind of yeah try and get a lot done on one day so that I can upload them as we go. So we've had quite a successful morning. Um, just had lunch which was lovely. Had the rest of the soup that Lou made us really good um and i thought i'd just jump on to show you what we got in well what i got in gunwharf yesterday didn't end up getting a lot as i said um and i didn't end up vlogging much just because we were kind of in and out of shops and i thought i only vlogged gunwharf about i think it was about just before christmas i did a vlog there as well and there wasn't yeah so i thought anyway i thought i'd quickly show you what i got which is just a few bits from the white company and um yeah then we went for dinner at faux which was lovely although i got the like i got like a hot and spicy soup which was really tasty but i preferred like the noodles that i normally get rather than the soup i like to have my noodles there rather than in soup if that makes sense so it was really flavoursome and i had big king fawns which were really good um and mum had chicken curry anyway yeah lovely day didn't get back till late um, but yeah, it's just nice to get out and about as well, like mooch around. Gunworth is so pretty on a lovely day, like the scenery is beautiful there. Enough gabbling on. From the White Company, I got, first of all, the most gorgeous bunch of spring greens, I feel like these were. Um, I have spotted these online a while ago, and I'm pretty sure they were like nearly a hundred, yeah, £95 something, it's covered up. Um, with the reduced sticker but they were nearly a hundred pounds they're like a really beautiful bunch of bright green like yeah i feel like they're the perfect faux flower for spring anyway they were reduced to 28 pounds 50. such a good buy um so i got a bunch of those because i thought i've got a new vase in fact let me show you the vase actually gorgeous little fluted vase I got this for Christmas from Lou's sister and it's also from the white company as well and funnily enough I had seen it in the white company in Gunwalk and been like you probably saw it in a vlog actually I thought oh I'll go back and get that and then always forget um but yeah it's really beautiful like fluted blood fluted vase and they do this is a small size and they also do like a really big size of it as well um and they had lots in stock in well they had a few in stock in Gunworth yesterday so I thought I'd show you that as well from the white company and then I also got two feather pillows because I got four for our new bed like these are super king ones obviously once you've got a super king bed you need super king pillows so I got four from dusk recently which were feather ones and they're nice they're comfortable but they're not they kind of feel like they go a little bit flat in the middle when I'm sleeping on them I'm so fussy um, so I wanted a, I thought I would try these ones from the White Company. They are European Duck Down Surround Pillow. They were reduced from 65. I don't know if they were more than 65, 65 in the first place, but 65 down to 44 for one, which don't get me wrong, it's still a lot of money for a pillow. Don't get me wrong. But I thought you can't put a price on a good night's sleep, can you? You cannot put a price on a good night's sleep. So I bought two of these and I slept on one last night. I haven't obviously put this one on the bed yet, but I slept on one of them last night and it was beautiful. Like it just felt, it stayed really like full and fluffy all night. Um, but yeah, I'm so fussy. I get like my ears hurt if my pillow's too hard. I don't know if anyone else gets this, but like if my pillow's not right, my ears hurt in the morning where like they pressed against it. Although I am trying to train myself to sleep on my back. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's meant to be so much better for you, isn't it, to sleep on your back? So I'm really trying to like, yeah, not as easy, but anyway. Um, so yeah, got a couple of those. Gonna put that one on the bed as well in a minute. And yeah, that was it. That was all I ended up getting. Um, but we had a lovely day all the same. Really enjoyed myself. Um, and I'm gonna finish the vlog here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget, I will link all of the pieces from River Island that I showed you at the beginning of this video, which feels like 
I mean, I know it was only yesterday morning, but it feels like ages ago now. Um, but they'll all be linked below, along with like any other these pieces from the White Company. Um, these, if I can find them online, still in the sale, I will leave them linked because I'm sure I put some. I'm sure I saw someone put um, a link to them on Instagram recently that they were in the sale. So I will leave them linked. Don't get me wrong, they are quite a bright green. Maybe that's why they were reduced, but. Yeah, I just think they're really pretty. Really pleased with those. So I'm going to arrange those in a vase. Um, and yeah, finish the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.